Hey everybody, Greg here with Robin is Corner. Welcome to another exciting episode of Last Week in Programming Memes, colon review, boomer edition. This is the format where we look at the last week of programming memes and review them. If you think this is the type of content that you like, why don't you just hit that subscribe button, hit the little button that lets you know when, you, uh, when we publish new content, and uh, pretty much every week we put a new thing out. If you really like it, hit the like button. If you really, really like it, leave us a comment and tell us why, and if you kind of hate it, also leave us a comment and tell us what we could do better. Um, if you want to shoot us your programming memes, go to our Technonaut submissions on Reddit and send them in. Stay tuned to see who wins our meme of the week, and starting next week, is it next week? Starting next week, we're going to start giving away t-shirts to whoever wins meme of the week. Let's get to the memes. Bingo, bingo. Let's tango. Oh, it's in hacker. A1 Most. <laughs> Who is this guy? <laughs> Sorry. Okay, okay, okay. I wanted to be a hacker and learn machine code. So I bought a book called Binary 101, but it was no use. It turned out to be the fifth in the series. I, because what, 101 and binary is actually the number five? Oh yeah, I know what binary is. Okay, that's a down moment. Do you, know, you know what binary is? Kind of. He doesn't know what binary is, okay. This is uh, brought to us by Tucker underscore dev, James Tucker ghosty face, junior developer life. Manager says, hey, get this app running locally. And junior dev says, how? Manager says, read the documentation. Junior dev says, there aren't any. Manager says, then get the app running so you can write the docs. And then a face with no emotion on it. Maybe maybe junior dev shouldn't be handed a task like this. This is a lot to give to a junior dev. I'm sticking with my thing. Just, just put them on HTML emails. Don't give them big stuff. Uh, this one's called machine learning. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> it's so stupid. I don't even need to say anything about it. Uh, I'm going to upvote it, but you do realize these are monitors, they're output devices, not input devices. So a more accurate screen would have been um, like the screen up here saying machine learning. And then these all have webcams like mounted to the top of them. They're not even plugged in. It's probably good they're not plugged in because they're trying to teach them something. I don't know what. Ha ha ha. Growth go. Brrr. Okay. You got a dog and a puppy. Just for the purposes of this, they're named Rigby and Sadie. Okay. Birth little puppy oh it's a cute little pupper eight weeks still a pupper 20 weeks still a pupper projected growth based on <laughs> what is this thing <laughs> it's like a <laughs> it's, it's like the ugliest ant eater ever this it's like something out of a nightmare where this imagine if this is your pupper and you just were like come on come with me to the park and this thing just was walking around with this big tongue, just slapping over everything. People were screaming. Children were running inside. Mothers were, were just, <laughs> were, were hiding in their SUVs. <laughs> Sorry. The one language I never have to look up the documentation for by Rob in the Corner again. Um, so that's you. You're Rob in the Corner. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. The, treating these guys with kids gloves. We got to treat Rob with not kids gloves. What's not a kids glove? Like, what, a, boxing the, glove. a box, but they make those for kids too. Uh, brass knuckles. That's an adult glove, a brass knuckle. Okay. Treating you with brass knuckles. What's the most used language in programming? This is by Molly underscore Struvy Ruby. X, C, X, Java, X, profanity, check mark. Totally. <laughs> It used to be almost every developer I worked with and knew, first of all, swore like crazy, like second of all, heavy users of tobacco. That that second part's changed now. Nowadays, people, I don't know, they chew bubble gum or something. I don't know. Um, the excitement. Oh boy, it's a freaking video. Me writing code and you got this guy on a skateboard trying to do a uh, ollie. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where did these guys come from? YouTube and Stack Overflow. What are you doing? Oh, he didn't really do it though. The other things did it. He didn't really do it. He didn't really do it at all. Why is this called the excitement? Excitement. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes the words they go in my eyes and they come out my mouth the wrong way. Uh, I, I'm gonna. I I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Don't do that though. This is guys. Stop go. Stack Overflow. You should totally be using YouTube. Do not go on YouTube to learn how to code things. It's it's weird. It's weird. It's, it, it's got to stop. Can you explain me full stack in simple terms? Me. Uh, some shampoo that's got all of these things on it. 
Really? This is the problem though, because people think full stack is a million things. Let me tell you what full stack stands for. Stay tuned for the hot take. Full stack, there's the back end and the front end. Full stack means you can do both. Take it, it's free. That's easy advice. God, these kids nowadays. Downvote. Okay, this is from I'm Developer. It's got 14.8 thousand likes, but that's a comma, so we know that a European, yeah. We know a European person uh, got this. You know, in America, we use uh, we use uh, the, the decimal point to separate numbers like that. And you see here, you used your comma here, you idiot. Now you don't get to use it here. That's why we use the comma for other things and the decimal point for other things. USA all the way. All right, so let's just go through this. Uh, full stack now means you can really another one of these things. Build front ends, write back ends. Yes. Handle the DevOps. Yeah, that's not that hard. Start a podcast. Sure. Why not? Curate a newsletter. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's not that hard. You got the podcast. At least just send out a newsletter saying it's doing a thing. Crack an egg with one hand. Uh-huh. You just smash the egg into the bowl like everybody else. Animate a Pixar movie. Oh, come on. You got to jump to animate a Pixar. That's hard to do. You ever animated anything? You're, He's animated stuff. It's hard. It takes forever. I don't... That's stupid. And dunk. Well, you can dunk. You just uh, dunk what? I can dunk a lot of things. I can dunk uh, uh, my head in the sink, I guess. Titanic floating. Posted by Plagued by Foibles. Foibles. Oh, really? Really? Do I have to... Oh, okay. Uh, ID Titanic float none. Is it because it's sinking? Is it because it's sinking, Rob? It's a CSS declaration. I think that's what the joke is. <sighs> I mean, good effort. That's definitely not the name of the week, though. Uh, this is why we give you JSON. Submitted by DL Mousy. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, the face. The front end looks like a normal uh, decapitated uh, head. And then the back end looks like a normal decapitated head. I don't understand... I mean, the front end usually looks like this, too. That's the problem, is it all looks like this. Uh, good try, DL, Mousy. These two options need to be on that red button pressing meme where the guy is sweating over which to press. You couldn't just f go get that and show it to... I I'm going to do you the favor and find that guy. Meme two button guy. Done. Boom. <laughs> That's all you need to tell Google. <laughs> This is the one. <laughs> there you go, this guy. Just so the viewers know what's being referenced, because I actually do know this meme. Who would win? A social life full of great friends and huge opportunities or some weird looking box? <laughs> you can have both. You can have both. You can bring your computer to the park and hang out with your friends. Weirdos. <laughs> I'll give it a vote. That's kind of funny. Something is off with this meme uh, posted by St St Stinja. How people think programming looks, then you got some sort of uh, CSI Miami type situation going on up here. How it really looks 90% of the time, and you got the guy from Narcos. Uh, uh, who is that? That's the guy. The drug guy. The drug guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The big drug guy. El Jefe, or whatever. Uh, how it really looks 90% of the time. You got this guy, he's sitting in a, he's sitting in a little uh, swing. Swinging. And then he's sitting at his, oh, that's the saddest looking dining room ever. <laughs> and then he's standing at the edge of the thing, just looking off into the distance. I mean, that's how it is, like, 90, I would say that number is wrong. It's like 95% of the time you're just sort of questioning your own existence. Uh, I'm going to upvote it because it's sad and I do kind of feel like this guy about 95% of the time. Please, kids, don't be this guy. Submitted by Stinja. Uh, me. Random git commands and my branch is already... <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> there's this point you get to when you're pushing things in git where like it just doesn't work and there's a command you have to run. I forget what it is, but it's like... The ignore everything wrong with the, that's already wrong and just save the f thing because nobody cares anymore. <laughs> it's, just, it's like the equivalent of this. Ah, it's pretty good. Upvote. You know? I think that's good enough. I think it's good enough. That's beam of the week, baby. Good job, Stinja. You did it. You got meme of the week. <laughs> so come on our Discord. Talk to Rob. Oh, wait, that's next week. Don't, you didn't get anything this week, but I will give you some flair. Oh. I didn't do that part right. Just keep that going though. Oh. <laughs> now everybody knows that you got meme of the week on this meme and you're the meme of the week winner. You get that all week, all week. You get to show off to your friends, bring out the Reddit and you say, hey, look at this. Look at this. I got it.
But next week, we would have given you a t-shirt, but not this week. So next week, submit something, I guess, again, and we'll maybe get you something. Okay, well, <clears throat> I think that just about wraps it up. Uh, thank you again for joining us for another episode of Last Week in Programming Memes Boomer Edition. Uh, I'm Greg, and this is Rob in the Corner. And if you really like this kind of stuff, now's a perfect time to hit that subscribe button. And remember to like and comment if you like it. If you hate it, please leave me a comment telling you why you hated it. Don't do what other people did and just make fun of me in the comments. I, I don't need that. I don't need that. Rob does, though. Just make fun of Rob. If you want to submit your memes next week, uh, we are going to be giving away a free T-shirt to the meme of the week. So that's exciting, I guess. We don't have the T-shirts yet, but we're in the process of making some. You'll have like at least two to pick from. So go on go on the Reddit, head on over to our Technonaut submissions and give us some OC to look at and we'll uh we'll we'll maybe get maybe end up winning the meme of the week. Also, we have a Patreon thing. And Patreon, if you guys don't know what it is, it's a way for you to show us support and you can you can join the countless other people who have supported us on Patreon. You just head on over to Patreon slash Omitim Studios. We have a bunch of people that are supporting us. Here's the number right now. Kaboom. So you won't be the first one. Uh, and there's a big list that we can run right here. Just th th you'll get this. If you if you give us some cash, you'll get you'll get on the list. And we really like all that kind of, you know, like it's it's nice. It's nice because it really tells us we're doing our job the right way of entertaining you, the viewer, and making you laugh. But I think that's about it. Is that about it, man? Are you